what's going on guys uh, ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to plants vs zombies 2 we are back on the game we are starting a brand new world today i believe uh it is the wild wild west or whatever the hell it's called anyway if you guys go ahead and enjoy it please do drop a like on it make sure you subscribe to the channel uh join the channel become a member it's uh four pound a month and um, you gain access to a load of different perks and stuff like that Turn the notification bell on so you never miss a live stream or an upload like this. And as always, a huge thank you for the support on the Plant vs Zombies 2 series. You guys have been absolutely awesome. Um, I'm, I'm having a blast playing this game and you guys seem to like watching it as well. So a huge thank you for that as always. Uh, obviously we've got some stuff here to get on with. We're going to start the Wild West um, world today. So it's going to be actually quite interesting. And your boys unlock Torchwood! Now, this is interesting. Um, I did get told how it works with Torchwood and Ice P, and it cancelled out the Ice P effect. So, whenever I don't use Ice P, I'll be using Torchwood. I think that's the best thing for me to do. We've got another piñata here. Um, okay, laser beans, sure, and some cactuses, and s some of that new plant or whatever that is okay so we have some challenges we've got some pinata party events to go on and do uh we'll have to do the pinata party straight away as per usual we'll try and give it a good shot collect your daily gift from the store i'll quickly do that right now get that out of the way um but yeah huge thank you for the support on this series as always you can buy a, you guys have been absolutely awesome people watching thank you for the support on the series um some intensive carrots and some sunbeams okay I will eventually get both of those but I'm not not worried about those right now so yeah uh, let's jump into the pinata party let's see what's going on let's see what's cracking I think the last one we did was grape shot I can't remember some pretty basic zombies here surprisingly and we've got some ah uh, it's mag okay it's magnifying glass okay Okay, alright, so this is actually a good chance for me to test out these three, because eventually I will get my hands on them. Um, I'm actually going to put you straight down there, and then I'm going to put you there. Um, yeah, so these three plants, uh, I will actually get my hands on. I believe all three of them are in Dark Ages, apart from Magnifying Glass, I can't quite remember whereabouts he is. Um, I think he's in Far Future, I think. I could be wrong, um, don't quote me on that. Alright, so I get, I get the rough idea of what, what they want me to do here. Um, try and use Sunbeam whenever I can to get extra sun um, and stuff like that. So I'm going to... There we go, beautiful. What happens if I do that? Does that make you like extra powerful? No, nope, it just complete disintegrates you. Fantastic. <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah, that works. Um, okay, so we've got a zombie in. Uh, well, a magnifying glass in every single lane now, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna quickly do that to you. Uh, let's get rid of these heavy hitters uh, a bit quicker here. There we go. Get rid of these knights and stuff like that. They're, they're quite tanky. Um, not compared to this thing, anyway. See, this seems to be taking them down quite quickly, uh, surprisingly well. So I'm gonna quickly do that, just to do absolutely nothing apparently. But sun-wise, we're not doing too bad. Um, I think we might have this in the bag. Get rid of you. Don't need you. Get some extra sun. I like the sunbeam. This is a very interesting combination. Um, because obviously you feed them sunbeam, they give you sun, etc, stuff like that. So that's quite an interesting uh, gimmick right there. Overall, we've, we've definitely done this, so... Uh, I'm going to put that down there, I'm going to kill both of them. Never mind. Yeah, I might, I might die by the mode here, but I, I like the gimmick. I like the idea... Oh no, I'm not going to do this. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Oh dear me, what's happened here? Uh oh. Well, that that's a fail, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, uh, first of all, let's get this back online. I'll let the lawnmowers do their thing and then try and take out the final wave by myself, and it's not really a problem. Get rid of those guys up top. Uh, give me that sun. Gonna need you down in the bottom lane. 
basically take out the ones in the lanes that I don't have anything in, and then I think I'm all good. Uh, middle lane, that's my next goal, so I'm going to put down that, get extra sun real quick. Kill that dude up top. I could have easily done this without, you know, any problems, but your boy's an idiot, so... Yeah, I just need to take out this middle lane, if, if I can. Um, okay, so obviously these things don't grow back straight away. Very interesting. Straight away, I'm just going to do that. Put down that. Bang, 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 bang. So flipping close, come on. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Yep, there we go. That works. Yeah, sure, go on, have the lawnmower. Hey, it works anyway. It's an interesting combination, actually. Sunbeam didn't work too bad. Um, I like the sunshroom. That gives me a lot of sun. And the magnifying glass and all that. Primal sunflower, okay. Explodo vine. Explodo vine. That's actually the brand new plant that's came out. A thousand coins. Okay. Not bad, I guess. That's alright. Um, two plants I don't think I'll get my hands on anytime soon. So, uh, obviously, primal... Sunflowers in Jurassic Marsh, which is like the second or third to last level, and I don't know about this, uh, this brand new one. So let's claim all those, We've got 4,000 coins there, lovely stuff. Uh, plant seeds and thing on. Sure, I can do that. Uh, twin Sunflower, interesting. Okay. I actually can't place anything. Okay, lovely, good stuff. Well, that's always great to know, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, so we're moving on. We completed uh, Pirate Seas, or whatever it's called. Uh, it's called Pirate Seas. Anyway, so yeah, we're going on to the Wild West now. Um, we're boosting it up in difficulty, as far as I can see. And um, our first plant is Split Pea. Shoots peas forward and backwards. Pretty self-explanatory. We've seen these guys before. And um, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm trying to remember why they gave me this. So we'll find out. Six shooters locked and loaded. Old timey piano music downloaded. Chance of taco 0.015%. Margin of error at 0.16%. Drag the minecart. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So this this level implements uh, minecarts, as you can see, where you can actually just drag them to wherever you want them to be. It's pretty interesting. Um, obviously, you could easily have like I don't know a watermelon pole, which we do get in this world at the end, I believe. That would be an interesting play. Um, in terms of what I'm going to do, though. I am... Um, that's the thing, Where, what do I want to put in the back of one of these? I think a coconut cannon would work well, let's try that. Um, let's get a bit of ice pea, you know, the regulars in there. Maybe... Uh, there's nothing hard hit... There's no hard hitting zombies as far as I can see, they're all pretty neutral, so I don't need to go full on hardcore here. Um, as far as I know, there's nothing to do with like grave busters in this, so I don't think I need you. Um, I'll be honest with you, I think I'm just going to take spike weed. I mean, I don't really need much else. Um, this preacher can start me off. I wish you could move it. But no, we've now got um, a coconut cannon, which we're going to put in the back one here. This could be an interesting thing. If I can somehow save up for it, it would be handy. But our Wild West, welcome, everybody. Uh, this is going to be an interesting... Oh, flip, I didn't mean to put that there. It'll be an interesting world, I think. Um, there's going to be quite a few things I wouldn't mind testing out. Let's kill these guys double time, shall we? Get some more sunflowers on the go as well. Give me that. I'm going to freeze you real quick, my guy. Just just pause, your, pause yourself there for a minute. I'm trying to... Uh, I, you know what? Don't worry about the coconut cannon for now. Don't worry about it for now. I need to cover every every single lane, and then I should be good to go. Um, let's freeze that guy behind. Well, or, or that guy. I was actually gonna freeze the other guy, but apparently not. Uh, yeah. So sweet. We've got so we've got a row of sunflowers, as per usual. Not looking too bad so far. Um, get an ice pea up in there. Get rid of that cone head as soon as possible. Uh, I don't need iceberg yet right now. I don't think. I'm good with that. And just to be safe, I'm going to put a Johnny right there, just to cover that middle lane. And then, that's the most basic setup we probably have for this level. So, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Make my life a little bit more fun. I'm going to 
boost up the song real quick. Put down this bad boy. And let's have a bit of fun. Oh my goodness. See, this is interesting. If I could somehow get this guy every single time in a level on this world, it would be huge. It would be good, man. Like, legit. It would be a lot of fun to test this guy out. Uh, let's get some spike weeds going. You know what? Let's, let's get some of those guys down, shall we? And you know what? Just because I can, I'm going to send this straight down the middle. Oh my goodness. Just wiped out all of them. One more time for the culture. Let's go. Ah, and it pushes them back as well. That's interesting. Yeah, the most basic layout you could probably have uh, on this level. <laughs> I just wanted to test out uh, Coconut Cannon. You never know. It could be pretty cool to use in the future somehow. Once we get, I don't know, Primal Sunflower or some sort of better Sunflower production. We do have Twin Sunflower. Uh, thank you for the split pea. But um, I don't know how good Twin Sunflower is. I've heard a few good and bad things about her. Um, she's a little bit more on the pricey side compared to regular sunflower, which obviously, you know, you would expect. It produces more sun, costs more sun, type of thing. But overall, I tell you what, yeah, they ah, I remember now, yeah, because they give you split pea to deal with this guy, this um, miner. That's what we call him, the miner. They give you him. I locked all to it, yes. Sweet. Well, they, they give you him because this guy jumps over your defense and then split speed can shoot backwards. But I'm going to do it one better. I'm going to put down Bolt Choice. Now, you're probably wondering, Cursed, that's the stupidest thing you've probably done in this world. I mean, we're only, what, one level in? And you're not wrong, but we're going to give it a shot. Put down two Bolt Choice in either of these, and then I think we're good to go. Uh, where do I want the sun? I'm gonna put the sunflowers here actually. It's a bit of a controversial place to put these guys, but. Shouldn't be that bad. Um, I'm gonna put you down all the way back here. Get some sunflower action going. Uh, I don't know when these guys are gonna spawn in, so I'm gonna try and save a little bit of sun for now. Don't need to go crazy straight away. Uh, in terms of normal zombies, I don't think we'll have much of a problem. I mean, the, uh, the bucket heads are. A bit beefy, a bit tanky, but apart from that, I don't think we'll really have a big of a threat here. Uh, let's get some ice peas going. You know, the drill. Slow these guys way down. And then the good thing about the Vulture, I can le legit just, like, just go, yep. I'm just going to put one in the minecart and off you go, like, type of thing. I'm going to slow you down real quick. Put you there. Again, get a row of ice peas. To be fair, ah, here we go. So here, he's going to jump over this defense here. Now, this is my plan. I'm going to let him do that. Watch this. By the time he jumps over, I'm going to get more sun. I'm going to put down a bolt toy right here. And all is going to be good. I dare you. And believe it, I think split pea costs more than bolt toy. I can't, I actually didn't actually look at the price of that thing, but it's not bad an idea, you know, using bolt toy. I mean, he hits, he hits both ways. It seems to work well. Why not give it a shot, you know? This other car, I don't know what I'm doing about that. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, get some spike weeds on that bucket head right there. Uh, tell you what, we'll uh, quickly put you down. Slow that guy down real quick. Put down you. Uh, I tell you what, give us some more sun. Come on. And, uh, let's help you out at the top there. Okay, so you're eating the you're eating the walnut. Fantastic. That's exactly what I want you to do. <laughs> That's exactly what I want you to do. Alright. So uh, let's get down some more spike weeds. Why not? Get a bit more extra damage in there. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Gonna slow down that top plane there just a little bit. Ah right, here we go. This is this is what I wanted. I'm gonna put that down right there. Watch this. This is big brain play. Big brain play right here, look at this. You're gonna jump over. He gets frozen. And you got killed by that guy. Perfect. Turn 
time I'm willing to live it here. There you go. Uh, in terms of level, I think that's going to be it. So let's uh, let's just speed this thing up, shall we? Alright, a bit of a weird layout, but the bonk choice seemed to work. And to be fair, I like what I did at the end there. I used the iceberg lettuce to freeze that guy. I know he's not probably going to get past the bonk choice anyway. But Bonk Choi seems to take out that guy relatively well. Now, if Bonk Choi is a little bit less sound than the script here, you might as well use Bonk So, I might as well use him if he's cheaper. We'll, I actually want to see how much Split P costs here. Uh, yeah, okay, so here's the, uh, the piano guy. So, Split P costs 125. Okay, so he's a little bit less. A little bit less than Bonk Choi, but. I don't know. Maybe because I've got ice pier, I don't really need split pea. I don't know. I, I think I think Bonk Choi can work for now. I mean, I don't really need to change it, but I don't even need him in this level because there's no there's no miners. So I tell you what, we're just gonna run regular layout. Uh, I tell you what, we're gonna go for yeah, go on. We're gonna run Twin Sunflower. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna save that actually. Uh, and I tell you what, I'm gonna do. I'm going to. Let's just bring Potato Mine. I mean, Potato Mine works. He, he kills the first zombie pretty much, guaranteed, and everything is lovely jubbly. So, uh, let's get down some sunflowers in this row here. Again, there is no miners in this, so these two back carts can chill with something, I don't know, like an ice pea or something like that. Would be quite nice. Uh, put down you. Sweet. Imagine like a row of Johnnies in the back and then bonk, a row of Bonk Choi to take out the miners, that'd be interesting. Those miners, they, they seem to be a pain in the backside, but they're actually not that bad. Um, they, they don't seem to be hard hitting either, so uh, it seems quite alright. Where's the next zombie at? They're down here, okay, no problem. But yeah, the piano guy, by the way, um, his gimmick, I believe he, he, plays, the, he, pi bleh bleh, he plays the piano. And, um, he literally just, you know, well, moves the zombies around, um, from lane to lane, so, you'll probably hear him in a minute. Keep, keep your ears peeled and your eyes open. Uh, let's just get a, bunch, uh, get a row of ice peas up in here. S simple, simple stuff, you know, you guys know the drill by now. Ice pea for the win. Um, but no, in terms of Ice P so far, I think I made a decent choice with him. Um, like I said, obviously at the start of this game, I wasn't sure who to buy. Because obviously I was like, uh, people said this guy, people said I should buy EP, people said I should buy this guy. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, there's a double Ice P action going on that guy. But you know what, I feel like I made a decent choice with Ice P. Um, it seems to work well. And uh, he seems to get me through some relatively jam-packed levels, so I feel like I made an alright suggestion by buying him. This is just ice peas on this level. Yet again, I think this is going to be fine. Um, yeah, there we go. A whole, every single lane is covered, don't need much. Uh, I'm just going to plant food you for like no reason. Go on, Bong Choi, have a bit of fun. Oh! Oh, hold up a minute, hold up a minute. Did, did the spike weed just insta-kill the piano guy? It gets rid of my spike weed, but that's like a hundred sun, that. You know, it's not that big of a deal. If he insta if he insta kills the piano guy, that could be an interesting one. That could be very, very interesting. Yeah, obviously we there you go. There's the uh, the endless, um, the endless uh, big bad butt, bute. I, I don't know how you say that. Anyway, so we've got some different quests here. Yeah, chili bean bomb. Yeah, okay. Yeah, chili bean bomb. By the way, is actually a joke. Honestly, he basically insta kills. Basically, insta kills pretty much everything, and it's it's hilarious. All right, so this is just a regular conveyor belt. Um, I'm actually gonna not put this Pichu to here. 
I feel like I'm going to get something else to put in these lanes, so, uh, I feel like I'm going to get a split P at some point, I don't know. I only saw these guys over there on the right, so I don't know if these are the only zombies that are going to be spawning in. Um, ah, okay, so, so, ah, flip. Alright, so you're going to have to take out two of them here, my, my man. Um, I should be that big of a deal, right? Let's speed it up real quick. So what's that like? Six, seven, about seven or eight piece to kill that guy. I feel like I'm gonna get like a repeat or something if we put one of these. So that's why I've left the middle ones that have the most space to move around in. That could be a bad play. Split P. Uh, I want you. Whereabouts you coming from? Your second to top lane. So believe it or not, I'm gonna move you there. I'm gonna keep you bottom lane, and then I'm actually gonna do a bit of, bit of strategic play here and put you at the front. So by the time you jump over, you should be damaged, and then by the time you get over there, you're going to be dead. So... There you go, and I split P. Oh! Oh, okay, so split P actually shoots two bullets. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was one. Okay, so top lane. Uh, we're going to move you down. We're going to put you up. Uh, that other piece is not really going to do much help, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to put this guy... I need something to cover that middle lane. You should be able to take out both, right? You take out that guy and then that guy. So if we put this guy there, that should be good to go. Get rid of that top guy real quick. Um... And then this guy's gonna have to take out the middle guy as well. Uh, that should be good enough, right? Yeah, we're good. Perfect. But yeah, if, if I remember correctly, I think, um... Are chickens in this? I could have sworn they were. Uh, there we go, yeah. Uh, repeat, uh, obviously. Let's just get rid of these guys as soon as possible. Repeat is just gonna... Absolutely ruin them all. Um, there you go, perfect. That guy didn't even stand a chance. How about this cone head? <laughs> it, repeat is just great. Uh, 200, okay. Uh, put you there, I guess. I think that's what you want me to do, isn't it, game? You want me to cover like every single lane as best as I can. That guy. See, the good thing is you can actually switch these out during, like, levels. No, not levels, but, like, whilst the level is playing, you can actually move them around. So, if you kill that zombie, you can quickly move it down to here and kill that zombie, you know what I mean? So, uh, we're going to put you there to cover that route, that middle lane. Get rid of this top lane real quick. And the bucket head. Shouldn't be that bad. I mean, he's, he's a bit tanky, but... You're getting three piece shooters at a time, bro. Oh, flip. I didn't even see that guy. You're dead anyway. Yeah, fair play to the bucket head. A three piece are. Ooh. I'm actually gonna put you. I'm gonna put you down there. To get rid of that bottom lane real quick. Do some quick early damage. Get some easy hits. Don't get me wrong, I would use uh, free Peter. Obviously, you unlock him in um, Pirate Seas, but he costs like 300, and I don't know if it's any good. Now, if you obviously get down and worth Torchwood for this guy, then that I could very much see why that could be decent. Because instead of putting down like a whole row of, I don't know, Snapdragons, that costs 150 each, you put down two of these guys in 600. It might be more expensive, I don't know. I'm, I'm rubbish at maths, but. The point is, a whole row of Torchwoods and like two of these free peers would do the trick. Like, generally, I think that would be pretty interesting to see. Um, at one point, I would like to try and push the limit of free Peter because a lot of people say that he's bad, but he covers a lot of lanes, and um, that can sometimes be huge. So, let's just get rid of this. Flipping guy straight away. 
little pea shooter level there and we've unlocked chili bean bomb how uh how convenient the the class in garden warfare 2 that uses bean bomb unlocks bean bomb in plant facing zombies too oh well zombies that eat it are defeated and release gas yes this thing is basically an insta kill uh pretty much nearly every zombie at the moment um i don't think it is an insta kill in the future it definitely does slow them down but uh yeah go on we'll give it a try Nothing wrong with a bit of um chili bean action here. Uh let's obviously take the usual and then go on, we'll take spike coins. You know what, let's upgrade. Yeah, go on. Spike coins getting upgraded though, uh upgraded though, he's getting there slowly but surely. Uh yeah, nice easy setup here. I'm probably gonna put a put my sunflowers here. Didn't see if there's any miners. If there are, then I could probably like chili bean them or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna put you way back there so I can just chill out and get some sun going here. Um, yeah, nice and easy. Thank you for potato mine, by the way. Potato mine is is actually a really big help. Um, let's put you down in the middle to get flexibility on all lanes whilst I get my other sun up and running. Um, Zombies should be arriving any minute now. So, uh, get some double ice P action going there straight away. There we go. Double ice P action. Lovely jubbly. Alright, so sweet. We've got a whole row of, um, Ice peas now. Well, ice peas. Sunflowers, I mean. Put down an, another one in the middle. I should take care of him. Slow down this guy. You don't seem that tanky compared to ice pea. You've lost your arm already, so uh, that's not entirely great on your heart, on your behalf. There we go. Yeah, that guy wasn't too bad. I would, in, in like, obviously, non premium plants game. Um, for example, you haven't spent any money on this game whatsoever. I can imagine those, these guys here with the radiators as their belly or whatever that is, is a little bit tanky. Um, but compared to Ice P, clearly it's not doing a great deal. So uh, let's just slow you down there for a second, my friend. And let's start putting down a row of uh, Johnny, shall we? For no apparent reason. Put down you. Spud mine. Spud mine. Spud mine. <laughs> Perfect. That is what you call going out with a bang. Go on, one more time for the culture. I love Potato Mine, man. He's just so lethal for a tiny little nugget. Look at him. Look at that little tooth as well. It's, a, it's adorably dangerous. This thing stares at you and you're like, oh my god, potato mine, looks so cute. And then, kaboom. Famous last words, kaboom. Okay, so there is a miner here. Interesting. Um, yeah, slow down there, buddy. Get some spike weed action. Good thing about spike weed, they don't eat it. Obviously, if they didn't eat it, then spike weed would be invincible in this game, because obviously... There's only a select few zombies that can actually destroy spike coins, you know, Gargantua, the uh, piano guys, the barrel imp things or piracies, and maybe some others in the future, but if they did exist, then generally it prob would probably be, like, pretty much invincible. Really. Oh, he's about to jump. Oh yeah, he's about to jump. Put you down right there. Activate the time, are you? Right, let's freeze you real quick, put you down. Good thing about this as well. Beam Bomb actually multiplies, and uh, that's fantastic news. It's a little bit like um, Potato Mine. Obviously, it doesn't kill him straight away, but you have to wait like two seconds. 
have to like wait two seconds before we can actually kill anybody. Just get a buttload of these guys down. There's no way you get past all those. I'm not gonna lie, that sound effect is disgusting in my earphones. <laughs> Genuinely disgusting in my earphones. Double spike coin, look at that. These guys are not even moving, bro. Look at this. Look, look at these guys. Put down a few of these just for no random reason. Lovely. Day five complete. I tell you what, yeah, potato mine and uh, bean, what you call you, chili bean, uh, could quite easily be some of the cooler or quick and easy plants to use in terms of get rid of like zombies quick. Like especially if you, I don't know, plant food the potato mine or just use chili bean by itself. It'll already plant food it. I reckon it'd be pretty valuable. It would work pretty well because they both pretty much one shot everything in the moment. Plan in defense and to defeat the zombies. Uh, we've got any miners? No, we don't. Well, that's perfect then. So I am. You know exactly what I'm doing. This, this, this. I don't have enough for a whole row of these. Wait, three, six. Wait, how many rows are there? Well, lanes. One, two, three, four, five, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Nah, that's not a whole. That's a whole row of these. Three Peters costs way much more than I should, so we're not going to try that. Um, I would like to, but I don't think... I, I don't think I want to, so uh, just for the sake of it, we'll take you and I guess you and you? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't really need much more than these four, so we're just taking these guys for like no reason. Uh, in terms of where I'm going to put these guys, I'm going to put a row of Johnnies. You know how we do. Bunch of these guys. Now the spike coins are going to get instantly destroyed. So I don't want to put those down just yet. Um, I don't think you can put down anything else. Like. Like after the round. Or after the fences. So I don't. And. Uh, to be fair. 500, 150, 200, 250. I'll tell you what, we'll do this. I think that should be fine, to be fair. Let's see how well we do. I was going to put down Spike Group, but I remembered that the piano guy's basically going to get insta kill them. I mean, he would insta kill him, but it would basically just be pointless putting those Spike Groups down because they'll be instantly killed by the piano guy and it'd be a waste of 100 stuns. So I, I actually believe this could generally hold up. Maybe. Depends how quick they can take out these radiator dudes. That's what we call them, the radiator dudes. That's literally what they are. Alright, so here comes the piano guy. We're going to slow him down right away. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. And now it's just slowing him down. Alright, here comes Bonk Choy. Going to uppercut your day out of existence. Quite literally. Oh my goodness, he just took off his whole head. I could, oh, yeah, we, actually have some, uh, we actually have some um, plant food here, I didn't even realise. We'll save it for the Johnnies, go for it. Put you there, and I'm going to put you there. Oh, you turnip, I didn't want to... <sighs> okay, I didn't actually want to put that there, but you know what, it's fine. I love how I didn't even use these. Minecarts. I mean, that's the whole gimmick of this whole world. It's kind of a minecart thing, but it's just... I don't think I need it, really. I mean, I would use them if there's miners, but I don't think... You have to, like, oh, like, just three coconut cannons would work. I would, I would, these kind of levels I like, because you get to plan out things that you never, wouldn't really use them. Like, in terms of like you're going to use coconut cannons now, but never again, later, type of thing, so, very interesting when it comes to this planned defences, and I think it's quite fun, because like I said, it allows you to plant defences and plants combined that you didn't actually think would work, but, you know, it gives you an opportunity to experiment, basically what I'm saying. I've got all my lawnmowers still, so it's not really a problem. 
So far, they haven't even got through the Johnnies. Um, this bottom Johnny's looking a bit worried, but there's only two zombies down there. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to get through this. No, I, didn't, I didn't think they would. They got through one Johnny and maybe a half a Johnny down at the bottom there. Apart from that, Peapod. See, this guy's interesting. It costs 125, but does it cost 125 every time you put down one of them into five? Plant multiple times on the same spot to multiply damage, yeah. So, I've, I've, you put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how many you can fit in a Peapod, but I don't know if this guy's any good. Is he? You know what? That's gonna, I think that's going to be my question at the moment. Is Peapod any good compared to Three Peter? Out of those two, what one would you rather use? I think that's my main question. Uh, in terms of defenses, we have no piano guys. I'm going to run Spike Weed, Johnny's Iceberg Lettuce. That. Let's go. This is my setup at the moment. Johnny Spike Weed. Ice speed is slowing down. It just works. You know, there's no reason to change it if it's broken. You know, you know the old saying, if it's broken, then don't fix it. If it's not broken, then don't fix it. That's what I'm saying. Alright, uh, let's put you down. Get some of these sunflowers on the go here. Legit, I could have a, a, a portable spike weed on this minecart if I wanted to. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put... An ice pea there. I'm actually not going to let you do that because I actually want to use that guy. And I'm actually going to put a bonk choy here. Now you're wondering why I'm doing that. I'm going to put literally. I can have one bonk choy and then like, look at this. This is a nice little combo right here. Shoot one pea at him. Never mind. Now let's get some other ice peas down, so this one doesn't have to rely on all the others. Right, I'm gonna wait for that guy to go past so I can punch him from behind with Bonk Choy. I don't wanna waste my 150 some, do I? That would be smart. Oh, Cliff, I've just realised. Right, wait for it, now. Perfect. As a waste, I know, but I, I completely didn't even see that guy there. Uh, let's put down a spike weed there to help that, to help that top lane a little bit. Uh, let's slow you down for a minute. Put down another spike weed down here. Uh, not too bad so far. Decent, decent, decent. Uh, three, two, one now. Go on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice. Bit of an interesting layout I've got going here, I'll be honest with you. Get some double ice pea action going here. Nice and easy. Um, there you go, nice. Get some triple ice pea action, look at that man, you're not getting through that. Get some spike weeds going. Place you up front. Let's do that. Let's do that. Cover that for a little bit. Nice. Put down another bonk choy here. This portable bonk choy is coming in kind of clutch. Can I kind of, can, uh, can move it out of the way, wait until they walk past, and then punch them away. It's actually not that bad of an idea, personally. Well, that's what I think, anyway. Comments you can come along and be like, yo, curse, that's terrible, but, hey, I think it's pretty cool, how you can move these guys around, I think it's quite, quite interesting, you can definitely work it with some stuff, you know, with the backwards, you know, Bong Choy can punch backwards, Split P can shoot backwards, it'd be very interesting to see how that works, with other stuff, easy, perfect layout, 
get down another bunch of these guys. Go on, Bonk Troy, go on, Bonk Troy, go. Everybody freeze. Nice. Oh, so that should slow them down for a little bit. Oh, you're gonna need some help up here, I think. So let's slow you guys down real quick. Got some triple spike weed action on that top lane. Look at that. That is spike weed road right there. Don't think you're getting past that, my guy. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at that layout, bro. You are not getting past that. Got like spike weeds everywhere. Got ice beef sliding down on the spike weeds. Got Johnny's completely stopping you as well. And Bong Choi just uh, punch you where it hurts. Like, do not get past that. Seriously. Easy dub. Look at that. Perfect. Stay hydrated. Unlock lightning weed. Ah, lightning weed would be interesting. Lightning weed is all right. Um, as far as I remember, he's a little bit underpowered, I think, but he'd be okay. It'd be interesting to use. I tell you one thing. There is one plant I would prefer to have over spike weed. Uh, spike weed over lightning weed, and it's the electric blueberry. I've used that thing in the in the party event. Um, event oh my goodness it is it's on some other stuff compared to lightning weed I tell you greetings plant wrestler agents who are arriving to mark your brains as my property solutions to I feel like Edgar Zombos is a uh, French I don't know why oh oh okay 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 hold up Go straight away, we are doing this. <laughs> Get some triple peapod action going here. I don't actually need you, actually. But this guy shoots how many peas? Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's a machine gun. <gasps> oh my goodness, this looks awesome. I'm gonna slow you down real quick, my guy. Get some Johnny's up and going here. Yeah, I get what they want me to do. They want me to use the peep -pop. This thing does seem pretty cool. Um, whether or not it's actually good, though, is another thing. Um, you know, that's just, just a completely different thing, if that's any... Yeah, the Trilly Bean Bomb is actually one-shotting the bucket heads as well, so that's actually pretty decent. Um, start getting some more of these guys in these guys here. I'm going to save the plant food, actually, for a special Mr. Gargantua, who should be arriving shortly, uh, hopefully. If not, he'll be on, like, later on in the level, but let's get some more Pichu action. Look at these guys, man. It's, li it's a literally a machine gun. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness, look how many peas they're shooting. That guy is not surviving that. What the... What is going on? Let's get a, a row of uh, chili beans in in the hood here. Um, I don't actually need these guys anymore, so I'm just going to put single ones at the back just to do an extra damage to the rest of them. Uh, split P. These guys are going to be handy. I'm going to save those for now until these until these other ones arrive, aka the. Uh, the um the miners. I've seen the miners and I'm not sure. Ah, flip it. We can do this. There we go. Perfect. Um, all right, let's get some let's get some of these guys going up here. Let's help that top lane. You son of a. So here we go. Bottom lane. Bottom lane. Bottom lane. Oh my goodness, you just got dropped. I take out this piano. You're doing my head. Yeah, it's just, it's just pea shoot galore, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Here's, here's my bitty boy. Fire. 
fire. What the flip was that? Oh my goodness. Right, uh, let's help this lane here real quick. We're just gonna do that in the bot lane for no reason. Put you there. Help out this lane. It's literally a machine gun pea shooter. If you think about it, technically. Get a bunch of these guys. Uh, my Johnny disappeared, but it's not a problem. Yeah, piano guy. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. I, I didn't even get to finish my sentence. I was literally about to say, piano guy, you're not even going to survive, but... Wow, okay. Man just decided to kill him straight away. I mean, that's not a problem at all. I can deal with that. Okay, this bot lane does need help as soon as possible. So as soon as these other guys are done killing this guy again, we're going to move this guy straight down to the bot lane. Oh, fuck this. Pod could be interesting, you know. It could be very interesting. If I have like Sun Shroom and I get a bunch of these guys, you are not getting past Repeater on plus 20 levels, my guy. I really hope the comment section says uh, P Pod is actually decent because I'm down to use it and it's nearly leveled up as well. So, fingers crossed, you guys in the comments. Can actually say to me, look, Curse, he's not actually that bad. If you say he's bad, then I'll still give him a try here and there, but I don't think I should do that. Alright, so another another few gems, lovely. We've got a few pinatas, and we've got two more peapods. Let's go, man. Give me those peapods. I tell you what, we're gonna upgrade them as well. We've got 54,000 coins. Um, what is your upgrade saying? Recharge 4.5 damage, plant duration. Yeah, sure, it's a thousand coins. Nice and easy. Plus 50 already, wow. You are a bit expensive. Hold up a second, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Relax, relax, relax. Could you imagine... Could you imagine if I somehow get a row of these guys, all of the peapods in, and a row of these guys? Wow. That would be unbelievable. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, free is cool, but in this guy and Torchwood, we could be talking business. We could be talking business. Ooh, is there any scenario where I could try that? Maybe a uh, plan of defense? Depends how much sun they give me, I guess. Hopefully one day we could see that in action. Hopefully one day. Parts of mine, well, not mine, yours, uh, for the mine carts. Sure. Survive with the given plants, and we have split peas, let me guess. I'm going to put split pea probably in the... Mm. I was about to say back row, but I might actually put it in the, in the front row. Um, let's get... Dead straight away here. It's not ideal, but oh, I've got oh, I've got winter melon pole. Ah, okay, that that could be interesting. I can do with that. Put down that guy. I want I want to try and save this uh, split pea for the miners if I can. It's, the problem is if it, if it's right at the front, then it's just gonna not really gonna do much for me. Considering it only shoots a single bullet. That's not problem. Alright, uh, I'm gonna add. Do I? I tell you what, I'm actually gonna wait until you move backwards. Let's get a lightning read up in here as well. Slow that guy way down. You can't shoot him, can you? Oh, no, you can. Okay, let's do some extra damage to him. Why not? Get some more lightning reads up in here. Uh, don't have anything that lane right now. 
else, let's do that. Sweet, so we've got a row of sunflowers, nice and easy. Um, get some more Johnnies up in the middle here. I'm going to try and save this split pea if I can. Lightning Reed, you're going to have to try and uh, take out these zombies as best as you can, because obviously I want to save the split pea for these guys. Here we go. So you're going to be in that lane, I'm going to put you there. Okay. Uh, you're surviving a little bit too long for my life until I can put you there. Okay. Let's do that. There we go, perfect. And let's f let there be thunder. Basically, the, the weaker version of Electric Blueberry's Thunder Cloud, but it's fine, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, let's eat you now. Don't get me wrong, I like, I like, I don't get me wrong, I do like a uh, good old fashioned lightning read, but I don't think my man's gonna. Feels cool, but I don't know, he just doesn't seem to be getting enough done, even on a level like this. I can't believe I'm putting down, and I'm not gonna lie, early on against this radiator zombie, <coughs> excuse me, against this radiator zombie, um, it didn't seem like it was doing much, um, I'll be honest. Cloud, finish it off. The split here eventually died, um, but the lightning reads, eh, not bad. He only costs 125, but I don't know if he's powerful. Uh, I've heard that he's okay, but compared to some of the other stuff you get, it's just not, not quite there. Um, don't get me wrong, he's cool, like I said, but I don't, you know, if I somehow, actually no, I can't, it's, uh, it's a premium plant. I was about to say, if I can somehow use electric blueberry in the future, this thing ain't going to do much for me. Okay, so now to, I'll, I'll take it back. This is where lightning weed can come into play. And we've got chickens. Um, could spike would actually take them out? We'll take both. Flip it. We'll take both. Um, take these guys, take you, and... You? Yeah, sure. Get rid of, the, get rid of these guys as soon as possible. Get like a row of spike weeds at the back here, and that should be decent, I guess. Uh, yeah, not bad. In terms of where they are, I'm gonna put this down at the back here. Get a row of spike weeds going in front of these beautiful sunflowers, looking fantastic. Yeah, so the chickens just run straight into that and should die instantly, to be fair. So that doesn't seem to be that big of a deal right now. Obviously, I've got lightning weed here just for backup, I guess. Um, nothing quite wrong with that. Gonna slow you down real quick, my guy. Hold your phone. Gonna put you down as well. And then we'll put like an ice pea in this, in this cart here to slow down some stuff all around, I think. Uh, get rid of these spike weeds going. I don't trust these chickens. They literally are faster than Usain Bolt. So, before you know it, my man is up in your crib, eating your sunflowers, and you're like, hold up. And then it's just, well, it's all history from there, so. Slow you down real quick. Get a row of ice peas here, and I think we should be good. They somehow get past my ice peas, that is. Uh, just for good measure, I'm going to put a, a, um, a lightning weed at the back here. Just in case we can somehow get past my spike weeds. I'm going to put a lightning weed at the back here. Alright, not terrible. Oh, here they come. So I'm actually going to leave you. I want to see how well the spike weed does. Uh, 
compared to compared to like normally how well we would do. Never mind, the spike. Okay, the spike. We doesn't even. I, I, I probably. I tell you what. We'll do it on one of the zombies that come up in a minute. But legit, they just turn into a, a, a bucket of KFC, and that is absolutely amazing in my opinion. Okay, so here we go. Let me try on this guy down here. Straight away. Yes, yeah, Spike will take some of the other side. And it's 25 sun cheaper than Lightning Green. I know it's only 25, but it still still works, so why not? Am I right? Uh, let's get some of these guys up and go up here. Slow you guys down real quick. Yeah, I remember when I first came up against the chickens all those years ago, I... Oh my goodness, I didn't know what to do. Genuinely, they were terrifying. They were super OP, way too quick for my liking. But nowadays, it's just like picking a cherry from a bush. It's simple, it's easy. Until you get thorn in your finger, but that's completely irrelevant to the... Uh, to the point of the right here. Yeah, give it to that flipping piano guy. Right there. I don't want to really deal with you. Yes, I, 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 don't get me wrong, I feel like lightning weed would come in handy against chicken, but I'm trying to think if there's any other mob, uh, not mobs, <laughs> I'm thinking of Minecraft. I'm trying to think if there's any other zombies like chicken in the future. I know there's weasels. Yeah, it's lost by Kane at one point. But that could be coming in handy there. But apart from that, I don't know. Because obviously in the other worlds, I've never really seen them. So I don't know what zombies are what, what they do. So in terms of like, actually... You know, any other mo uh, monsters, mobs, whatever you want to call them. Any other zombies like the chickens and the weasels. I don't know if there's any in any other worlds apart from Wild West and Frostbite Caves. Let me know if there's any other mob. Why do I keep saying that? Seriously. Spend no more than 500 sun. Wait, what? Wait, what? How? Spend no more than 500 sun. I wonder, can I do this with a single, single one of these? Because these guys are not hard hitting. I tell you what, we're gonna improvise this one. I don't care if I lose. I want to see if I can actually do this with a coconut cannon. I'm actually gonna wait until I have enough for it as well. I can afford to put one sunflower down. <laughs> That's good enough. Two sunflowers, actually. Um, I'm actually going to wait until I get enough here. I actually want to see if I can do this with one coconut cannon. I'm interested to see if it will work. I'm not far off. As soon as I get that 400 sun, mate, you're getting blown to smithereens. Come on. One more. I need one more. Come on, sunflower, quick. Sunflower, quick. Yes. Go. Fire. Perfect. I actually want to see if I can do this with two sunflowers and a coconut cannon. Can coconut cannon prevail? Can he actually do something good? Let's speed it up here. Get with that zombie straight up. Oh. Oh, my bad. Alright, I'm going to shoot this there. Get the plant food. The plant food sun on no plant food on sunflower on this level ain't gonna do nothing for me because obviously it ain't gonna work. But I can plant food this guy, which I'm not gonna do yet because this guy can actually shoot two lanes with uh with his uh, explosive. So do that. Perfect. Another plant another plant food. Now if they start splitting up, that's where it's gonna come in a pain in my backside, which they definitely will. I'm gonna have to try. And take out these singular zombies as soon as possible. Um, 
you should die by one, hundred percent. There's no way you survive one coconut cannon from your boy in a coconut. There we go, perfect. Okay, uh, I can do that. I get one back. I do it. I do it again. I do it again. Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. I've got an idea. Do it there. Okay, it's a bad idea. Uh oh. But technically, I've done it actually. Technically, I have done it. Yeah, coconut cannon, you tried. I give you that, you tried. I've got all my little mowers. It's fine. I wonder. Do that. Oh, he didn't do too bad. You know what? I consider that as a pass. You did alright. It's, it's uh, when they all came towards me at the end. There was a bit of a bit of a mess, but you know what? It worked. We got past the level. It doesn't matter. Another what is a shovel? When you dig up plants, you get extra sun. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, I've got, uh, an additional 25% cone. So, so does that actually like go on top of the one that I've already got? So what's that? F plus 50% sun now. Whenever I dig something up. It's not bad, you know. It's like, you know, you upgrade, you? Obviously, people is no way near to be upgraded again. I mean, I would like to use him upgraded, but imagine if some of these plants fully upgraded, man. It'd be awesome. Plant the boomerang. Uh, sure. For some reason, I'll put you in the one that's flexible all round, so uh, you can do your thing. Interesting to see a uh, boom uh, boomerang on this level. Obviously, he's not from this level. He's from Egypt. Uh, I tell you what, I'm actually gonna put you there. I feel like you're gonna send chickens. Put it this way, Bloomerang should easily get through the chickens. You can just hit all of them and then come all the way back if they some of them survive. So in terms of chickens, I don't think they'll get past lightning Rude, let alone Bloomerang. But I don't even know if they're gonna send chickens, so I could be completely wrong. Uh we're gonna put you there so it travels quicker. Yeah, not bad level so far actually. It's alright. Standard stuff. Two bloomerangs and a lightning weed. They uh, not doing too bad actually. Another lightning weed. Okay. Uh, we'll put you there. Do that bottom lane. So all three lanes are covered, nice and easy. Bro, look at these guys. Just <laughs> honestly, guy, like zombies on this game are so derpy. I love it. Uh, we'll put you there. Get some double boomerang action with that. Bang, 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 bang. Perfect. Boomerang's not bad. I, I just feel like he costs a little bit too much for liking. I mean, he's 175. And that's, like, that's more expensive than some even better plants, so... Uh, no. No, I don't think I need to do that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I needed to. Lovely. I didn't actually mean to put that spike on, you, on this guy here, so I'm like... Or not. <sighs> I could just delete the guy and be an idiot. Let's just do that. Don't do the... Bucket head, I mean, still kill them anyway. Whatever. I didn't actually mean to use any of that there, but you know what? We move. Get some double action on this guy here. You're actually gonna take my, my lightning weed. Wow. No way you're gonna survive this. No way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Another boomerang. Uh, let's get another one up here, shall we? Get some triple action going up there. Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. You are not surviving that. You're getting sent to Australia with that one. 
Was that a bit stupid of a joke? Yeah, I think it was. I didn't really like that one myself. Another lightning weed, sure, no problem, my man. Uh, we'll just put you there. Got number seven lightning weed now. Perfect. Take out the stronger zombies for us. I mean, the lightning weed seems to be taking care of these cone heads that relatively well. It just seems bucket heads that I can be able to paint in my backside. Come on, get rid of them. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't care, I'm not letting you lose that. Flip off. Watermelon pole, okay. So this guy costs 325, so that's not... To me, like, you look at that and you go, oh my god, that's expensive, but... Is it? I mean, Coconut Cannon costs 400, and I've, I've been doing alright with him, so... Maybe Watermelon Pulp could be decent? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I've already got some Watermelon Pulps and nearly upgraded them, so that's pretty cool. I'm hoping there's, like, Watermelon Pulp level on this somewhere where I can, I can actually use him. Like, they give me him for free or something like that. Uh... Yeah, sure, we'll just do this for now. Um, I really want to use... Yeah, I'll tell you what. In we'll, we'll use watermelon pot at some point. I don't know when. Uh, there's no chicken. Oh, it's a mechanical ball, though. Oh. He's, he's alright. He's not crazy tanky, but I feel like Lightning Weed would be a decent shout. We'll upgrade you. Just a quick zombie zapped. Yeah, okay, so that actually increases the amount of zombies zapped. That's not too bad. That's alright. Seems decent enough. Alright, so we. I'm gonna put a bonk in the middle one here. To get rid of any of these guys in the back. Straight away we're doing that. Any of the miners, bang bang, uppercut. Lovely. Maybe a Johnny as well to slow them down. Uh, let's just put you there. Hopefully you activate in time. Just to start putting down. I always do my sunflowers first and then try and hold out the rest of the zombies just for as long as possible. Um, maybe start off with a Royal Lightning Weeds. You know, quick, easy damage. Not crazy expensive. Should be kind of decent. Uh, put down a Bulk Choice straight away. Put down a Johnny as well. That's an interesting setup right there. Look at that. Uh, go on. We'll do. I'll tell you what, we'll do. Ice Peas and. Uh, Lightning weeds, see if that works. Put you down there. Uh, we'll put a lightning weed in the middle. Boom. There we go, beautiful. Alright, so that guy should take care of the one about to get my sunflower. I mean, you've been hit a few times, so you shouldn't be that big of a deal. There you go. Perfect. See you later. <laughs> i tell you what, yeah, Bonk Joy is quite possibly one of the finest plants I've had so far. The way he just doesn't care and just does whatever he wants and just uppercuts your face off your shoulders is just great. Like, you cannot say that's bad. Legit just goes bang and they go, Ugh. I mean, it's just punching a zombie in the face, like, in real life that would be dangerous, but in a game it's absolutely hilarious. Like, surely I'm not the only one who thinks that. To be fair, I don't know where I'm going with this conversation, so we're just going to leave it there. Well, uh, let's get a little bit of a row of uh, lightning moves here, get a bit of stun action. Okay, so here goes my plan, if it goes to plan. Um, Put down a spike with the button These heat, heat zombies are uh, a little bit tanky sometimes. Again, lightning weed doesn't really do much to it, so I don't think it was a wise choice to put lightning weed against these guys, but you know what? It works. Because ice peas are doing a little bit of damage. Can I just say, by the way, these guys are th three lightning weeds in the middle. There's not a single ice pea whatsoever. 
Uh, let's put down a spike ball there. I don't really want to face that mechanical wall. I don't want to know what your. I oh, know he, he runs forward and then pushes it. I think that's his gimmick. I actually want to try out my theory here. Um, where the miner jumps back with my bomb before he hits him. He's done nothing so far apart from one kill. So I feel a little bit bad to be fair. I just realised how much sun I have. I've got some um, plant food. Okay, so here we go. Put you down. <sighs> or not. I can just let my lightning weed steal the kill. No worries, mate. I can, I can deal with that. I don't know, lightning weed to me just seems a little bit underpowered sometimes against certain things. Everybody's um, obviously upgraded, I guess, if you can use it. But I don't know. Let me know. I'll tell you what, let me know in Wild West what is your favourite plant that you unlock. I'm interested to know, actually. That's going to be a question of the day. What is your favourite plant to unlock in Wild West? Mine so far has to be Peapod. I think Peapod could have a lot of potential. It's just a little bit on the expensive side, a little bit. Because if it's 125 per, that's 125. There's what, five? Five peas in a pod? Something like that, five or six of them, so. Oh. Cool, there we go. Alright, lightning weed, come back. <laughs> I don't mind lightning weed against these guys, because these chicken dudes, these KFC looking guys can can flip off personally. Um, yeah, we so we get tall walnut in this, that's gonna be interesting to use. Uh same as usual. Yeah, I think that's fine. A row of ice peas, a row of sunflowers, and then like some stuff in the back here. like an ice pea in the back wouldn't be too bad of a shout. Maybe. Please come in one of the lanes that I haven't put anything in. You turnip. I'll tell you what then, I'm going to slow you down. I'm going to put a lightning weed here. Get a, get some damage on the go early. Um, again, these chickens are pain in my backside. I'm going to put you there. You can walk towards that, no problem. Why do people message me when I'm recording? It happens every time. Need some ice peas up in here, I think. Do that in the top lane. Alright, that guy down there is going to die. I'm going to slow you down. There we go. Nice one. Leave you there. The guy in the bottom lane is fine. Don't worry about that guy. Chickens are not going to be that bad. I've got a lightning weed down. I wouldn't mind more though, so uh, tell you what we're going to do. Just for extra measure, I'm going to put one all the way back here. So if they somehow get past that one, they have to get past that one as well. So, trying to think a little bit ahead here in terms of where I'm putting these guys. Uh, bottom lane. Slow you down. Don't actually need anything else right now. I've got to some flowers going. Uh, let's just start doing that. I've got nearly every lane covered. There we go. Every lane's covered, pretty much. So, that's not terrible. Um, I'm put you down. Find the cloud. Find the cloud. Find the cloud. It's still pretty cool to hear the thunder sound. Really. Hold up, oh, whoa, 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 hold up. Seriously? Really? The most randomest chicken got through at the 
end there, that's stupid. We've still done it anyway, it's not a problem. We'll do one more, I think, and then we'll wrap it up. Unlock tool nut. I, I wouldn't mind using tool nut. I mean, so far, I don't think we've came across any air units apart from the seagulls. Um, oh! Wait a minute. So, wait, 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 wait. If I use tool nut, does that get rid of the miner problem? You know, when he's this guy here, perfect timing, by the way. Does that stop the miner from jumping over? I wonder. If that does, then I don't even need to use split pea. Ugh. Can't stop you them. Uh, same thing again. Bonk Troy. Go on. Wait, using potato counter to lose the plants level. Oh, does it? Oh, well, great. Um. Uh, repeat our kernel, I guess. Go for it. I wonder if Tornot actually does stop the um the miner from jumping over. I would like to test that out. Actually, that would be interesting. Alright, I'm gonna put down. I tell you what, let's get a kernel corn, kernel pole, I should say. I keep, I always say kernel corn. Let's get a kernel pole up in here. Let's see how well you do on this on this world. I mean, you only cost a hundred. You don't, you know, have a terrible time trying to deal with any of these guys, do you? Get some more sunflowers going. Let's put down a row of these guys. Actually, I like kernel kernel pole. Slows them down. Does decent damage. Doesn't cost that much. Just put down a load of these guys, I guess. <laughs> And plus they also stop them, like, normally. It's the same thing as Ice P, it obviously stops them when they're not even... Okay, well, you can just stop. <laughs> Let's just get rid of you straight away. Okay, so in terms of layout, it's not looking terrible. I said it's not looking terrible. Okay, 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 get rid of you. Right, so Spike Weed counts as... Okay. Okay, so Spike Weed counts as losing a plant. Why didn't it tell me that? But it told me when I had potato mined. How does that work? Okay, so we're not using you. Uh, cabbage pole. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't think Johnny's gonna do great in this, I'll be honest with you. It's the first time we lost a level today as well. I wasn't even paying attention, to be fair. I didn't think I actually lost a plant the normal way. I, I put down a spike wheel like an idiot. Um, Ice P, deal with that guy. I'm not dealing with him right now. If we get two Ice P's up in these carts here, it should be fine. We should be good to go. In terms of defences, so let's get some sun going. Um, put down that guy there. Perfect. Lovely stuff. Alright, bottom lane. And top lane. Uh, there we go. Just gonna put down a bunch of like ice peas. I mean, bonk choice and that will come in a little bit later, hopefully, but I don't think we we'll actually need them. Um, yeah, easy dubs. Look at this. Kernel corn didn't do too bad. We'll call it kernel corn. Flip it. Kernel corn, kernel pole didn't do too bad, I guess. Uh, let's put down one of you in the middle lane. Let's get rid of that piano guy straight away. Thank you, repeater. Repeater. Not repeater. That sounds weird when you say it like that. Alright, let's uh, help out with these guys at the top here. Get some double ice pea action going, I think. Collect some sun. Here we go, perfect. Yeah, this is, you're not getting past his defense, I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen. Get some more sun, thank you. Get some more sun, thank you. Put you in the middle. I don't need a bonk toy. Ice P and repeat, oh my goodness, that could be broken. Ice P slows him down, repeat it does the extra damage. 
simple as that. And just to be annoying, I'm gonna do three, two. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I was actually gonna put down the bonk toy behind him, but turns out I don't need to. Okay, there we go. We unlocked Nurse Johnny. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember what you do. Fully repair damaged defensive plant by planting onto problem. Ah, so this is the this is only works on defensive plants. I can't do it with pea shooters and that. I think that's how it works. Yeah. It would only work on Johnny's. And maybe uh what's it called? The the spike Johnny in um Lost Lost World or Lost City or whatever. In Julian, that's what it's called. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today's episode. We managed to do 15 levels. We're halfway through. Uh, we've got 10 more to go on the old Wild West. Not too bad so far. We've got some decent plants. Uh, we're working around the stupid KFC chicken. Hashtag Chica has the hips. And, um, yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Uh, we've done the pinata event relatively easy. Uh, we lost at the end there, but stupid chicken managed to get through somehow. I'm not going to... I'm not going to sit here and question how, but you know what? It, it happened, and uh, I think it's relatively fair if we lose every once in a while to something stupid. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy some parts of the Zombies 2. I'll be uploading this again probably Thursday. Um, tomorrow is Garden Warfare 2, and then Wednesday is going to be something, maybe like a talk video or whatever. But I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on it. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Join the channel, become a member, turn the notification bell on so you never miss an upload or a live stream uh, in the future. Thank you for watching, thank you for the awesome support on all the videos as usual, I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Stay hydrated, keep on gaming, and plant versus zombies.